Hello everyone. I uh, hope you can see my screen well and hear me well. On today's webinar we will talk about product structure changes and control in QED. In details, each organization has its own unique process of product change management. But all these unique processes are customizations to different extents of generic practices common for the industry. Computer systems used for product change management also make an impact on how product change management process is shaped. Let's look at what options to maintain and control changes in changes to product structures we have as users in QED. The most direct and simplistic approach is to maintain and control changes to product structures directly through product structure maintenance function in QED. If you are required to exercise more control over product changes, then there is product change control module. It incorporates approval cycles that let you control how and when suggested changes are implemented. I'd like to mention that PCC module is not only about product structure changes. It can be used to control changes to most item-related data in a manufacturing environment, including basic item and item site inventory, planning and cost data. Product structure and form formula records, uh, then product routings and processes, and item specifications and test steps. PCC module is built around two types of documents, product change requests, PCRs, and product change orders, PCOs. Product change requests are just the request for product changes. They cannot be taken past the approval stage for release. Once approved, PCRs are typically closed or converted into PCOs. PCRs have no effect on the system until converted into the change orders. Product change orders, on the other side, manage the introduction of changes into your product definitions. PCOs, PCOs are usually strictly controlled through an approval process. A single PCO can affect multiple items, formulas, product structures, routings, processes, or item specifications. Approved PCOs are released and distributed to manufacturing, after which manufacturing organization is responsible for implementing the changes. Engineering can specify a mandatory date for changes or allow manufacturing to select a changeover date based on the least cost, minimum disruption, or other relevant factors. Once selected changeover date has arrived, changes listed in PCO are incorporated into corresponding master data in QED. The core of this process is product change order. Those of you who created or maintained PCO in QED experienced, experienced themselves how time-consuming this process can be. Having many years of experience with developing data loaders and proven success records, we decided to tackle this area in QED. The most common data management, uh, data managed through product change orders are product structures. So we designed a data loader for QED users who manage product structures via product change control module in QED. Product change control data loader provides you with real-time access to QED data and quick and convenient way to create new or modify existing product change orders in QED via Excel. This tool simplifies PCO maintenance interface and reduces navigation within multiple PCO maintenance screens in QED to a single mouse click in Excel. It allows you to mass update selected parameters for multiple items and create product change orders for single or multiple bonds. Let's look how product change orders data loader works. So um, this is uh, how PCO data loader looks like. If, you are, if you've been working with our template before, you'll see the familiar interface. To get started, you just need to select correct database. Click the setup button to find the appropriate database and then select it. You can download existing 
product change order and modify it if it hasn't been released yet or create a new order. To download existing PCO, you need to enter PCO number and ID in the header. If you don't know the exact PCO number, you can use lookup button to search for PCO with matching number. And select required value. If you will be selecting any of the action buttons for the first time, you will be asked to enter your QED user ID and password. This data loader, as all 32 soft data loaders, validate that user has access to the corresponding function in QED. In this case, it's product change order maintenance menu. Once you selected your PCO number, you can click on download button. If you need to modify existing PCO, you can make required changes to the header or uh, order line details. In line details, you can add new bomb lines to PCO or deactivate existing ones. To deactivate a line in the existing PCO product structure, you just need to set the value to yes in the deactivate column. And new PCO lines can be added manually or downloaded from QED. To download item bomb from QED, you just need to specify parent item number. If you do not know the exact item number, you can use lookup function to search for the value in QED. Select required value from the drop-down list and then click on Get Bomb button. All the lines from the bomb for selected parent item number gets downloaded into your PCO. You can uh, download multiple product structures by entering another item code in the parent item column under the last downloaded lines. Let's me enter this one and I can get another bomb here. Uh, when product change orders affect certain component, you can download from QED all BOM lines for this component too. To do so, you need to enter component code in the component column. Uh, let's pick one. Let's do this. If you do not, again, similar to parent item code, if you don't remember the exact component code, you can type it partially and then click lookup button and search for the value in QED. Once you specify the component number, you can click on get where used button and all BOM lines where this component is used will be download in, downloaded into the Excel, into your PCO template, then you can make the required changes. And uh, once you're ready to update your product change order, click on the upload button to upload these changes into QED. If you need to create new product change order, then you will also need to order header details. So let me leave the same data for the order and I will show how you can create a new order. Some of the header fields are mandatory and you will need to enter them to be able to create order in QED. So, mandatory fields are type, so let's select type and design group. We can look up for the available types in QED and pick one of those. Another one is title, so let's assign a title and assign a reason. You can specify PCO number and ID if you want a specific number to be assigned in QED or leave it blank and then QED will assign the number automatically. After you entered header information and line details, you can click on upload button to create new PCO in QED.
I want to show you one more feature of all our loaders. I forgot to do it originally, that if you will, while creating PCO template, will make any errors, then uh, loader will be able to identify those since before performing any upload into QED, it does, it does data validation. So, and if error, any errors are found, upload will be canceled and cells with invalid values will be highlighted in red, like in this case. If you mouse over the cell, you will see the details of the errors. I will fix the errors and we'll try to do the upload again. If the data is successful, you will see loaded successfully message and new PCO number will be assigned uh, to this order by QED. You can review modified and newly created PCO number by selecting uh, the order number and clicking on View PCO button. Here is your de details of your PCO order that already exists that now exist in QED. If your company does not require the level of product structure control or implementation provided by QED PCC module, you can use more simplistic approach to bomb change management. This approach is based on maintaining start and end effective dates for product structure components directly in BOMS. For example, you can schedule rollout of new product or component by making changes to the affected bill of materials ahead of time, specifying start and end effective dates for the new or modified lines. The quick and convenient the quick, convenient and efficient way to do so is with bill of materials data loader. Yeah. So here is another tool that you can use to manage changes and control changes to your product structure if you do not use a product change control module and it's a bill of material data loader. As with all 32 soft data loaders, to get started you just need to click on setup button and select the database you will be connecting to. Then you need to specify selection criteria for the, for the product structures you want to download. That's me. For example, I want to download the range of bombs that starts with 88 and up to 99. Once you did that, you can click on download button and since I, first time I click on the action button after I just opened this loader, it asks me for my user ID and password and validation, validates um, all this data against QD database. Validation was successful, so all bill of materials that match criteria I specified are downloaded into Excel. Let's see how component replacement process can be done with this tool. Um, let's work a scenario when starting, for example, September 1st, we will be replacing a component 88-1000 with component called new item. We can download all bombs that currently use component 88,000. I will work with uh, only with a range of parent items between 88 and 99 and will specify that I want to see only bomb lines that use this component. Okay, here we have now all line, bill of material lines that use component 88-100. These are component boom lines that we need to replace. For these existing lines, we'll specify effective, date, effective end date as August 31st, 2015. And then we will add new lines for component B with start date September 1st. The fastest way to do this is by copying existing product structure lines and editing required fields and this is what I will do. Th 
Thank you, Denise. And meanwhile, here I prepared all the changes that I want to upload into QED. Here are my existing bomb lines, which I want to expire, or set and effective dates. And here are the new lines with new component item that will be effective um, September 1st, and I have different quantity for that new component. So once I made all the changes, I can try to upload this data now into QED. Okay, and if data were loaded successfully, you will see loaded successfully message. Now you can verify your updated product structure effective, for example, August 27. Let's put as of date August 27. And you'll see the full bill of materials for this range of parents. Click on download. And you see that we still have that component, and we'll just see that it will expire August 31st. If you will look at the same range of bill of materials effective, for example, September 2nd, and re-download, you will see that there is no component 88-100 anymore, and we have new component instead that replaces that old component, and it became effective on um, September 1st. So this is the uh, way that uh, many people do product change control without using the PCC module since it um, the quickest and the simplest one. Um, bill of material data loader is not only for changing components, it's a very versatile tool. You can use it to create new product structures or to monitor, maintain, and audit the existing ones. And while PCO data loader is a tool for engineering and R&D departments sometimes and require establishing a process of product change orders, maintenance, review, approval, and implementation. Bill of Materials Data Loader does not require any additional setup and is a kind of tool that you can start using right away. Uh, both easy to use tool for, uh, we showed you today, make it simple to manage product changes from convenient Excel spreadsheets and then upload data safely into QED. They are designed to increase productivity and reduce data entry errors. Uh, what we've seen today are the what you've seen today are the generic versions of the tools that can be customized for specific product change maintenance processes. Uh, here I want to thank you for staying with me and allowing me to share this knowledge with you. I will now pass controls to Denise and we can start our usual Q&A part of the webinar.